Oho. I can fly now, yay! <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people here. Ah, the wanderers returned. Been busy bringing down a tower and producing the keys to destroying the rest of them. You should be proud. Those warding skills of yours are what's made this whole venture possible. Will you and Lord Emmerich be leading the contingent? Regrettably, no. Our role is to organize the various delegations into a cohesive unit. Once we have seen you all off, it's back to our respective posts. We dare not neglect our duties for too long, lest our defensive efforts fall into disarray. And just between us, there was a fair amount of opposition to the formation of the Ilsebard contingent. The very suggestion that we send some of our our finest troops behind enemy lines to render aid unto the Guardians has made me rather unpopular in certain quarters. <laughs> Can't please them all. Sadly not, though I do my best. To be told, I'd much rather be at your side, charging into the fray. Thus, I battles of my own to fight. Words may serve me better than any blade. I hate to say it, but Lord Emmerich struggles here my own. For the time being, the best we can offer you is uh, peace of mind from knowing Agorzia is in safe hands. As you fight the good fight in Ilzebard, I and the other commanders will do what we can to convince the naysayers that our cause is just. Thank you, both of you. We meet again. Oh. Word of your exploits travels quickly, from what I gather. The protective talismans you obtained led to the formation of this expeditionary force. Your contribution on this occasion is but a minor one, and that being the information I have shared with Maxima. For the sake of the people of Garlemald, may the fates be on your side. You're now coming with us? Strange, I thought you'd have a stake in this. I do, it's law for I have laid waste to my homeland and saved my people. But though every mote of my being cries for vengeance, I cannot be the one to deliver it. My presence alone will place the entire mission in jeopardy. I stand accused of murdering Emperor Varys and plunging Garlemald into chaos. I to travel with the Ilsebard contingent would give my countrymen ample cause to question our motives. Conversely, those who believe me innocent may instead celebrate the return of a former Legatus in an attempt to raise me to a position of leadership, further destabilizing the region and comp complicating the contingent's mission. Whether I am branded a villain or hailed as a hero, I will only hinder your You will deliver your people from harm in your stead. For what it was worth, for what it is worth, you have my grant gratitude. You and your comrades have the strength to and courage to deliver my countrymen. I am certain of it. In light of Gaius's rather unique circumstances, I instead will assume the role of your guide. Though I may have defected for political reasons, my love for Garlemald endures. I would stop at nothing to protect her and her people. Well said. Why did I ask you to escort our friends inside? You might even bump into an old acquaintance or two. And if I don't see you again ere you depart, may the Fury guide and protect you. All of you. I never got any better stuff. Oh, I got some better stuff. Okay. Oh, look at that coat.
I reached 520. Look at that. The other members of the Ilsebar contingent are gathered in the royal palace. I shall inform them of your arrival, so please make your way inside as soon as you're ready. Ah, the remaining members of the Scions. Your friends and most of the Ilsebar contingent await you within. Would you like me to see you through? Yes. Oh my, that's a lot of people. Oh my, that's a lot of strong people. Glad you could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. As you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. It is a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garlemald. Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzebard contingent. Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself in the company of many trusted comrades, yourselves included. Lucia. I have come at the behest of Lord Emmerich, who has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. For the good of all nations, not least my former homeland, I am determined to see this mission through to its end. We have a hard road ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. We too welcome this opportunity to work together once more. I have faith that if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we will find it. Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our company. Everyone! If I may have your attention. Might I ask you to speak first? If I must. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation, here on behalf of my esteemed sister, the Elder Seedseer. We shall provide support and protection to those in need during our time in Garlemald. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild, with the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. Suppose I'd better say my piece. Look at that. Right, Wait, I know you. The name's Sickard, in case you've forgotten. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. Any road, the Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, he picked me. Of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key haul in as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you got to trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do. 
Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together anything you fancy. Of course, just like the Gradanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind, but we're more than capable of cracking skulls, believe you me. Well, you're certainly raring to go, but then again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. If Garlemald has truly fallen, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarapin and I will be leading from the front. It's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Master Matoya, the Avatar of Destruction. <laughs> <laughs> With comrades like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. But until then, let's give it our all. As for Ishgard, we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. The bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Our experience fighting in ice and snow will prove invaluable in the days ahead. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and guidance you require. The four high houses, House Hylinart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lomitsa. There is another awaiting introduction Lord of Manalane Wait, Manalane? Ah, yes. Oh, damn. In Manalane de Fortor, at your service. Though lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away, rather far from it actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. <laughs> but, should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. Alright. Make your graceful prance and lead the way to victory. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Huzzah! I cannot wait to regale on a roi with my tales of daring do. I believe that concludes introductions for the Grand Company. Wait, how do I get rid of that? I can't read this thing. Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. Would that be the Shinobi of Doma? Actually, they've been tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various Eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Out of my way, you preening fool! <laughs> Look at them! Forgive us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Sir, 
enough. And you've brought company. For battle and blood we come, as the step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of Doma, only to find them beyond our reach. But now our thirst for slaughter will be slaked. No quarter to the enemy! Sadu Hatun, no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Warriors of the Steppe, we've heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... Where press escape again? Members of the Dalmascan resistance group, Lente's Tears. <laughs> Why is that still there? Oh my. And the Bosnian resistance. Between them, they have a wealth of experience in espionage and are particularly adept at infiltrating Imperial facilities, which is fortuitous, since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. Dalmasca, Bosia, Alamiga. All lands which have suffered the tyranny of the Empire. I would never presume to question your motives. Nevertheless, I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Tilophoroi, the common folk of Garlemald. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. But after seeing what we've seen, fighting and working against and with Guardians, there's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. For Dola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Eorzean here knows Sid Garland, the Imperial Defector who shared with us countless technological wonders. Maxima who stands with us today, tried to reform Garlemald from within and make peace with Joma. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. It won't be easy. But we're all determined to make this world a better place. Look at those bunnies. What lingering concerns I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I agree with everything you said wholeheartedly. Then we are in accord. Now, let us review our strategy. To reach the Garlean capital in northern Ilsebad, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial transport, sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Telophoroi. As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigation systems, further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacius. From there, we must travel the rest of the way on foot. 
We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. The vast ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us. So, it is imperative that we only make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the... I mean, I keep accidentally clicking. We cannot account for every possibility, so we must be prepared to think on our feet. We will be tested. Sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we depart, there is no turning back. Boy. Besides the delegates assembled here, the Amaja and several other tribes offered to send troops of their own. Unfortunately, due to their physiology, many would struggle simply to survive in the harsh climate of Elsabard. They would also likely prove tempting targets for abducting abduction by the Talafaroi. All things considered, they can better aid the cause by bolstering our defenses in Eorzea, though their eagerness to do more has been noted. We few shall have to suffice. Where we embark, we must distribute the warding skills for comrades. Can you do the honors? Warding skills for the Ishgardian delegation, I take it? Yeah. Many thanks. These talismans may prove to be the deciding factor in the battles to come. I find myself conflicted by this foray into Garlemald by the Empire to infiltrate Ishkar, only to throw in my lot with those whose secrets I was supposed to be stealing. Now I lead a mission to save the countrymen I betrayed. But that is doubtless why I was chosen by Lord Emmerich, who would have me put my ex extensive knowledge and former ties to good use. I will not disappoint him. For the future of Ishkar, Garlemald, and the world at large shall lead us to victory. What a set of warding skills I spy? Not that I would know what they look like. Wow, look at these. Even a layman like me can tell they're bursting with ether. All the better to fend off the tempering waves? Is the right term? Anyway, these will give us one less thing to worry about. It just leaves the other mountain of whatever else is waiting for us in Garlemald. Only one way to find out, eh? I never said not, I'd march through all seven hells if it gave me a chance to put Zenos back in the grave where he belongs. Here, we've got something for us. Ah, them scales everyone's been talking about. Pretty little things, aren't they? I reckon they'll be worth a gill or two when all this is over. It's all over. But we'll hold on to them for now. And one more thing. I know what you're thinking. What you're all thinking. Why'd they send I why didn't they send Einzar dead? Fucker if I know, all the Admiral Captain Hilfir told me was that they needed someone to help safeguard the future. And here I am. I can't say they haven't got a sense of humor. Of course, some of you might be wondering what good a pirate is on dry land. Well, the sod and snow of all places. Well, me and my crew will do whatever needs doing, so let's set sail. However the saying goes on airships. The guide a lot is Samson. Our progress has finally been recognized by the Order of the Twin Adder. Naturally, guide a lot is also here to help us. While his ability as a barge is unmatched, I do worry about his judgment. However, you need not. However, you need not. I shall be keeping a close eye on him. I can't lie to you, Ceres. I wasn't entirely... For this whole thing when Santa spoke to me, but if it means being your brother in arms, then who am I to pettifog? I shouldn't be so hard on him, I suppose. This bard unit is quite impressive, yet really. Yes, one must give credit, but credit is due. Rather uncouth for me to do otherwise, after all. Yes. So these are the famous warding scales. Enough for me and my men, I see. 
Under normal circumstances, I would not be allowed to travel outside the Twelve's Wood. The Elder Seeds here, however, has granted me special permission. He has bid me lend my magics to the people of Garlemald while learning all I can of their ways. Doing, I will come close to understand myself and my place in the world. Or so she said. I say it is past time our allies benefited from the power at the Seed Seer's disposal. Some bemoan that we hide our light under a bushel. I intend to address that criticism. It will be cold in Garlemald, so we came prepared. But you did, she's still is barely wearing anything. All oh, the talismans, we are to keep these close at all times, yes. I will see that no one misplaces theirs. Ah, uh, and before I forget, I have a message from Hian. Distant lands in times of strife together stand together, fight in darkness shine so lights of light. I hope I have done his words justice. Doma, like much of Ulthar, has been plagued by the towers. Yet, uh, he cannot be here, he wished to express his shared conviction. Yuen and Yugiri labor without rest to unite the people, and with their aid will keep the enemy out. And we of the Steppe and the Eastern Alliance will repay their efforts by ending this war. Oh my god, look at these. Damn. Oh damn. You have a warding skill for me too? Yep, yep. Thank you for this and for going to such incredible lengths for the sake of my people. Though I have little to offer in return, I would impart some advice if I may. You have been told by many to wear the cold of Ilzabard. I cannot stress enough that this is no token warning. I will be distributing specially made warming tinctures, courtesy of the Alchemist Guild, but understand that they are no substitute for proper protection. I leave the provisioning of said protection to your discretion. Now, let us proceed to the Alamegan Quarter. While we make your final while you make your final preparations, I will have the pilots ready for the airships. Our last chance to make ready before we set forth. You need not worry about Urian, Jay, and I, who still have what we wore in Garlemald before. Estinian claims to be quite warm and toasty beneath his armor, and since he spent a fair bit of time up north recently as well, I have no reason to doubt his words. Most of the others will be borrowing Grand Company stock. The rest of you could do likewise. I suppose what provide do likewise, I suppose, provided you're not overly concerned with style. <laughs> not to put too fine a point on it, but I would be seen dead in one of those ridiculous overcoats. When I had time to find something to my liking. Mark, is that the cry of science in need of a tailor right here? Oh? Tataru? Well, how? Haha, <laughs> I have my way, so yes indeed. You thought you could sneak off to Ilzabar without telling me? Ha, nothing escapes my what, notice. Oh my gosh, it looks all warm and cozy. Now you will wear these garments I made for you whether you like it or not. You never cease to amaze. But why do you need a new outfit as well? Wait, are you coming with us? What? No, of course not, silly. It's all in the name of fashion. Rather, the pursuit of the highest quality fashion. But it's not going to expect others to wear my creations if I've never worn them myself. Uh, I did have one other thing to share. Ergmus and Blumuda have finally returned from assignments in a faraway in faraway lands. We're staying at the Rising Stones for a while to keep an eye on events throughout Eorzea. Since I'll be running things back at headquarters, I was wondering if I could lend a hand in Charlian. Oh, why not? You crowd company in Baldessi and Annex. Yes, we'd love to have you there. And I heard Ergmus and Blumuda did a fine job carrying on in our stead while we were lying comatose. With them in charge of the Rising Stones, we're not, we've nothing to worry about. I thought exactly. Also, while I'm confident it won't go collapsing again because it's someone who shall remain nameless isn't in a position to transport your souls to another world, if anything similarly disastrous were to happen, I'll be well positioned to do something about it. 
Anyway, I've got a few things to take care of, and then I'll make my way to Charlian. I really do hope these new clothes are enough to keep you warm in Garlemald. Not much, but it's the only thing I can do for you. And then pray for your safe return, which I will, every day. I'll not keep the contingent waiting any longer. Here are your winter woolies, handcrafted by yours truly. Okay, North Sea Coat. Let's see, by the mother of God. Oh, the airship pilot has been sent to meet you. Ah, oh, there he is. Alright, this is where we go our separate ways. Do be careful, won't you? Oh my god, there's so many people here. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm lagging hard. Oh. It's an honor to finally meet you. We of the Garden Ironworks will be ferrying you and your contingent across the mountains and into Carlemald. For many of us, it'll be something of a homecoming. Our illustrious founder was only our most notable Imperial defector. For that reason, the company is committed to the success of this operation, this expedition. Our resources are at your disposal. If there is aught we might, and if there is aught we might do to be of further assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. If you are ready to depart, I will re I'll ready the engines. Several cutscenes, yep, yep. Yes, proceed. Oh, baby. Make it our way to Garle mod. Ilsabad, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, in the frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius. The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. Received word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They have sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps. Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports that they are led by Vagilia, the Gatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the Civil War. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Then it is all but certain they have been tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. 
Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald, the very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings, disarmament, and imprisonment? Only say is savage beatings. Not impossible, but easier said than done in the heat of battle. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest. He did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitek armaments, and once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Oh. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. The first will form the vanguard, while the other brings up the rear with our supplies. As for the Scions, I ask that you lend your assistance where you deem it needed most. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rear guard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. Man, has been freezing the entire time. Oh, damn, look at that outfit. was well received more specifically they asked that we destroy the Imperials toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible Pistola always did have a flair for the dramatic she's not an easy woman to please but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks all right once more for my peace of mind our first objective will be to rig the enemy's Magitek with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. Our second will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much needed upper hand. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan. And we should all live to see tomorrow. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I always do. Very well. I wish you the best of luck. I'm gonna be playing as like other characters. Oh yeah, there you go. Role playing. Assuming there's nothing else you wish to confirm, we may commence this mission as soon as you're ready. About what? Success in this mission hinges on the following points. Swift deception renders Thancred invisible and increases his movement speed. While active enemy soldiers and magic will be unable to perceive Thancred's presence, even if they are within close proximity. However, it has no effect on the guard dogs to keep smell. 
and they'll be able to detect thinkers regardless. Moreover, this action can only be used outside of combat. It will also be unavailable when Thinker attempts to deactivate magic fields or execute certain other actions. Thinker Silent Takedown will instantly render a soldier unconscious. It can only be used while Swift Deception is not Though it cannot, it cannot be used on magic tech or guard dogs. Utilizing Silent Takedown will render possible essential in clearing a path to your objective. As guard dogs can de detect Thinkrit even with the Swift Deception is active, you can instead use a Bewilderment Bomb to distract them and sneak past the notice. Conversely, Bewilderment Bombs have no effect on Magitek or Soldiers, so take care to choose the right tool for the right situation. Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count. There's a magic tech. We can get past them. We definitely get past the magic. I gotta take them out first. Gets too close to the thing. Okay. <laughs> I like the music. I got to wait for them to look away because they were looking away. That thing. I have to wait for yeah, them to pass each other. Oh, there's a magic thing there. I didn't know.
Wait for it to go back over? Can you use this thing on? Hide and said, Where? Oh. You can't see me. This is Tancred. The explosives are in place. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control terminal. It should be to the northwest. Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. Oh, this is sick. Wait for this guy to turn around, then I'll kill that one. Or it's not kill. Oh god! Fast. That's what they got. Do I do this right? Do I have to wait for him to pass? I might have to. Damn, spotted. I almost got through that without getting spotted. You mean it didn't see me? Pick this guy out, guy out next. Really a better way to do this, but. Turn around.
here. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Ha <laughs> I had one of them to find me. You are returned, and none the worse for wear, to my considerable relief. What news from our comrades? They stand at the ready. Excellent. Then let the fireworks begin. Wow. A few moments later, at the rear of the Ilsabad Contingent Supply Caravan. The blizzard's beginning to clear. The vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now, if they haven't already. Ishtola and the others are with them, so I'm sure they'll be all right, but... <gasps> Wait! Something's coming! Oh my. Oi, oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages! We lose those, and we're as good as dead. Am I going to be playing as me, or how is it? Oh, the music, though. Thank you for self. We stay here, so I hope. Keep the carriages safe. Come on. Let's see how this looks now. Oh my god! So that's how it looks? Jesus, that's sick as fuck! Are still in danger. Go on ahead. We'll hold the line. Oh, 
Oh boy. All right. A big bastard? Oh, that's a big bastard. Portraits they have now. Get to the front and turn the tide. 